want to vlog again Just can't wait to do a vlog again The life I love is making vlogs for my friends And I can't wait to do a vlog again Doing a vlog again Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe hanging out with the lovely cat. And as you can see, we have Aaron in the back. We have got a great vlog for you today. It should be another fun and exciting time. You can join us on all of our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Top Vloggers. Also, if you'd like to help us reach the top, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com backslash the top vloggers. Without your help and support, these vlogs will be almost impossible to do. There will be a link to those down in the description below. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, take it one step further, and ring that notification bell. That way you can always stay up to date on all of our future endeavors that are going on right here on this channel. I guess the only thing left is to get to the vlog. So let's go! We are here at Francis Slocum State Forest. Off-road vehicles and camping are not allowed in this area. Otherwise known as Okie Pinocchio. Let's go and take a look, shall we? Also, there is supposedly a little girl that was uh, taken here out to this area, tortured, raped, and murdered. Her name was Stephanie. They say that if you call her name or begin insulting her, uh, you'll hear her screaming and eventually she will follow you through the woods. Now they say that there is a significant tree that she was tied to and you can still see the imprints of the rope that held her there. Uh, and there's a haunted uh, cabin somewhere out there. I have only gone uh, during the daytime uh, so I have not been able to find the cabin or the tree as of yet. Now basically what you will do uh, is you will drive down uh, this trail that we are on. Uh, and the further you go, the more it seems the trees kind of close in on you uh, to the point that you can't really see the sky. Uh, it's always colder here uh, than in other surrounding areas. And I did notice a cold spot. Um as we were walking. Now the temperature uh, on the day that we are here is about 85 degrees. Once you get to the end of the uh, trail, uh, it becomes into a big circle. Uh, is what is called the Devil Circle, uh, which is where the circle, uh, nothing grows, and, and you, that's where you park, apparently. Um, we decided to walk down this uh, instead of driving down it, uh, there are multiple. Mul uh, excuse me, there are multiple trails all around the circle uh, that lead into the woods as well. Now it should be noted as well uh, that the Francis Slocum State Forest borders the Masinawa Lake, uh, and that the, this entire area was at one point in time home uh, to the Mi Miami Tribe villages. Uh, and a battle during the War of 1812 as well. Now, there are many legends surrounding uh, this area and its origins, uh, and also its high, am high amounts of paranormal activity. Uh, now, the area uh, may have been a Native American burial ground at also at one point in time. Now, there are also rumors of satanic rituals uh, that had been performed uh, here in this area as well. Now there are also stories of dogs barking, uh, being followed uh, by a certain dog, a certain colored dog. Uh, they have people have reported uh, uh, hearing sounds and growls uh, in the woods. Um, you know, very close to the road, uh, but nonetheless. Uh, as far as I know, uh, there has not been a lot of recordings um, gathered for, for all of this uh, paranormal investigative purposes. Now, the Midwestern uh, researchers and investigators of paranormal activity 
the founder of MRIPA, Jason Baker, uh, has been out here uh, at least several times that we know of um, and has had EVP sessions um, and, and several other things around here to see if they could spot any kind of activity. Now here we are coming up on what is considered the Devil's Circle. Uh, this is where most people park. Uh, as I told you earlier, we decided to walk all this way from uh, the very beginning all the way here because we wanted to get the full experience of this. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can make that out, but right through the trees over here, there is uh, what we believe is the Masinawa. And uh, you can, I'm not sure if you guys can make that out over there, but there is a couple of guys over there on horses. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if you guys can make that out on the camera or not, but we can see them from here through the bushes. Uh, so there are, there is, and there are several horse trails around here and things like that. And like I said, trails that you could go on and things that would allow you to uh, be able to go down. Uh, right there, there's a trail it looks like that you'd be able to go down possibly to the uh, actual Missinawa River as well. Now there's also a story of a boy named jo Joey Peoria. Uh, he grew up playing uh, in the camping and hunting in this forest and he knew the area inside and out. His mother would often say that as a boy uh, there were more of the woods on Joey's clothes uh, than in the woods. Joey was constantly bringing home frogs, snakes, green geckos, uh, much to his mother's delight, of course. Um, this place was truly his childhood playground. He uh, continued frequently uh, to come to the Okefenokee Woods uh, into his adulthood and never lost the love of, his, of nature. In the early spring of 1976, Joey and three of his friends strolled into the woods to go camping and never came out. It was several days before anyone concerned uh, because they had planned on spending the entire uh, weekend or the extended weekend in the woods uh, as they often did. Four days after they walked into the forest, a search party discovered the partially decaying bodies of three young men. The men had been brutally murdered and could barely be identified. Uh, Joey Peoria was never found or seen again. As you can see right here, people have been lighting fires and things like that as well. After an extensive investigation, uh, it was determined that an argument occurred between the campers and it was suspected that Joey had killed the other three men. Several years later, Joey's wife uh, confessed to having an affair with one of the men that Joey was camping with. She was concerned because she thought Joey might suspect the affair, but she was not sure if he could have known with whom it was. After the story of the affair was made public, uh, pretty much uh, all of the locals uh, were sure that Joey had did the killing uh, and that the Okefenokee Woods was now haunted. Between 1980 and 1985, five more young men were found dead in the same scenic area as the first three. People stopped going into the woods as they were convinced that Joey had lived there all these years and was completely evil. It is believed that sometime after the eighth murder, the spirit of a British soldier who was killed in the 1812 uh, intervened and stopped Joey from killing any more. Uh, the Joey Peoria story is only a small part of the spiritual history that is housed within these woods. Uh, there are literally thousands of spirits out there, uh, all with a different story. Some good, and some bad. That's going to do it for us here today uh, in, in the Okie Pinokie Woods. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Take it one step further. Ring! That notification bell that way you can stay up to date on all of our future endeavors uh, that are going on in this video also you can join us on all of our social media websites 
Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Top Vloggers. Also, if you'd like to help us reach the top, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com backslash the top vloggers. Without your help and support, these vlogs would be almost impossible to do. There will be a link in the description below. And I think that's going to do it for us here today in the Okie Pinokie Woods. We hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I always enjoy bringing them to you. This is just another one that kind of spooked our interest and we thought we would go ahead and bring this one to you. Uh, it, was, it was a nice little walk out here and uh, I enjoyed it and I think my family did as well. So until next time, top vloggers.